hurricanes, floods, droughts. Climate change is the most inclusive, all-enveloping issue of our time. It's everything. Maybe in 50 or 100 years, we'll turn it around. What do we do in the meantime? The film is called Metamorphosis and tackles climate change, but also talking about some of the positive things that people are doing and coming up with solutions, grassroots solutions. I'm joined by the co-directors, Novami and Velcro Ripper, which, by the way, is his real name. Everyone's, I, I imagine, <laughs> ask you that all the time. All the time. Welcome yeah. to the show. It's Thank great you. to have you both here. And congratulations. You just shared some exciting news with me. Tell everybody at home about... Uh, about the news you, you just shared. Well, Metamorphosis, which premiered uh, last Friday at Cinema du Parc and Cinema yeah. Le Clap in Quebec City, has been held over for another week. So congratulations. Yeah. So Obviously, yeah. you're, you're getting a great response from, mm. from audiences. Let's talk about uh, the film itself, Velcro. How, how would you describe the film to people? Well, the film is a cinematic poem. It's a look at both climate change, but also the idea that the climate crisis could be an opportunity for transformation. And it's very visual. And try to see it on the big screen, because it just really shines in the cinema. Yeah, I mean, just the visual. I saw there. You need to see this on a big screen. Nova, um, climate change, you know, th there's, there's still a lot of people that dismiss it, let's, let's be honest, but I think, I think the majority of people are now, you know, on board. They realize it's happening. How bad is it? From, from your experience, from the research you did for this film, what did you learn about climate change? Well, I mean, there's no denying that it exists, yeah. uh, and it is an all the most all-inclusive issue of our time, as Robert J. Lifton says in our film. Um, and you know, it's it, you know, it really got sparked uh, this film by how serious this is, and we all need to pay attention to it. So, yeah. you, what, did did something? inspire you in particular, Velcro? Like, tell us about the story that, that led to this. Yeah, well, for both of us, I think it was the typhoon in, in the Philippines just uh, uh, about three or four years ago. 6,000 people were killed. Yeah. And it really made us think, um, you know, how would a community be changed by such, such a thing? And how do we cope with this change? And how can we wake up in time? So how was the community changed? What, what, what did you find out about that? Well, I mean, in the film, we explore the psychological and emotional aspects of climate change. Right. And uh, Robert J. Lifton, as I mentioned, he talks about psychic numbing and uh, how we tend to uh, block out things that are really traumatic. And so that's uh, an aspect of the film that we explore, um, as well as uh, the emotional aspects. You know, we filmed with a family who had lost their homes in a fire and, and uh, some people in Vanuatu. Uh, who had experienced a cyclone, but who are moving through the, the grief and, and we really highlight the resilience of the communities that have been affected. And I think the nice thing, Velcro, is this isn't just a film about, you know, warning everybody about it. It's also a film about solutions and mm -hmm. grassroots. So, so what were some of those solutions that, that you found? Well, that was one of the most wonderful things about making the film was we realized there's so much creativity, so much energy, and so much ingenuity in the human race that we can tackle this. Um, one of my favorite uh, examples was uh, called Grid Alternatives. And they're, they're an NGO that uh, provides free uh, solar panels to low-income houses all across California and actually the U.S. And uh, also trains uh, people in how to become solar installers. So they're also training people in this new and growing field of renewable energy. So doing all these things while alleviating climate change at the same time. Yeah, no, but I think, you know, for us in, in North America, Canada as well, when, when it comes to solar power, it, it's a big investment for a lot of people, right? So it's great to hear this, but, you know, did you learn through this that, you know, I, I, you know, I, I, from research I've done on my own, you know, European com uh, countries seem to be on board more than we are here in North America. Is there a reason for that? Do you, I mean, I think it's starting to catch on. Yeah. I think that there are places where, you know, like in California, they're mandating that all new homes being built have solar panels. And I believe in New yeah. York, there are new initiatives as well for having solar panels and using solar energy. So I think it's really uh, catching on. And, you know, uh, with the uh, solution-oriented stories that we highlight mm -hmm. in the film, you know, we're hoping that the design principles of those projects will be applied for other projects. You know, they're really yeah. meant to inspire and spark the imagination. What was the most startling thing you found out about climate change, Velcro, doing this film? Uh, well, just that it could, you know, there could, we, we have a limited amount of time before we hit runaway climate change, in which there's right. nothing we can do. We're still before that point. But if it gets really bad, we could see massive species extinction and, and massive uh, 
influxes of climate refugees from all over the world, including internal refugees from North America. And we could really make a mess of this of this planet. And uh, it's, it's, we're running out of time. No, we started off the top mentioning where it's running, but remind everybody at home where they can watch it here in, in Montreal. Sure, it's at Cinema du Parc, and it's playing for at least another week. That's fantastic. Yeah. Again, congratulations. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Really Great appreciate it. Hey, don't go away. Coming up after the break, uh, we'll have a look at what's making news here in Montreal. Also, your weather and traffic.